Hi, welcome back to Out of Band UAE. Today we're going to look at the compass and its parts and how to use it to orientate a map. Let's go. So let's take a look at the magic that is a compass. First of all, this main bit that sits on is the base plate. And you'll notice that down either side we have two scales. These are great for working out distances on different scales of map. For us, the best way to work that out is to use the ruler at the bottom. Um, and that will give us an idea of what a kilometre is or what every 100 metres is. Also on the base plate is the direction arrow. And this will want to point in whatever direction we're going in or the direction we want to go in when we're working out bearings. And that will be covered in a video later on. Just at the top here, you'll see the bezel. And around the bezel, you can see there are our bearings ranging from one up at north all the way around to 359 just next to it. And on the inside of that, we have our orientation lines. So these are the black and red lines on the inside, as well as the black and red arrow, which is our orientation arrow. And just in there as well is our north-south needle. So this is our magnetic needle that always points magnetic north. So let's have a look at a real simple thing that we can do with our compass, and that is using our compass to orientate our map. So, orientating our map. First thing we need to do, we need to take our compass and line our directional arrow up with the top of our map. To do this, we can use our grid lines and the edge of our compass to make sure that everything's lined up nice and straight. Next, we turn the bezel until the red orientation arrow lines up with our directional arrow. So now everything should be pointing north. Finally, to get everything in line, we're going to move our map and our compass all together until our north needle lines up with our directional arrow and our orientational arrow. So we'll just give that a quick spin. And then everything lines up. Now, the top of the map, which represents north, is pointing north because it's in the same direction as our north needle. And that means everything in the 3D world is now matched up with our 2D map and everything is in the right place. From there, it should be dead easy to work out where we are and where we want to go. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or queries, stick them in the comments box below and we'll be happy to help. Till next time, stay safe. Have fun and that's a lot